sub the word sub in finance always means <coughs> below the word sub always means below sub prime below prime below best sub plr below plr sub means below what do you mean by sub prime is below the best grade below the best grade we had a wonderful discussion yesterday where you know <coughs> we discussed we said credit rating us will have a credit rating for mr revish us will have a credit rating for nick here we are talking of subprime borrowers who do not have credit ratings which are good they have below best credit rating let's get it logical and simple now what is this you read what is the subprime you need to understand this subprime means the banks in us first thing is what is the genesis of subprime i have done a lot of research on this because our present we keep blaming the present central bank governor mr bernack by this time possibly except for shankar others would know the central bank but i'll repeat it for him somebody who is in charge of the uh, the country's economy we keep blaming bernack and we keep saying that guy influenced subprime but if you go through research you will actually see the person who is responsible for starting of subprime is none other than one of the best visionaries in the world living today mr alan greenspan that's a unfortunate fact of life it is some of the analysts have been brutal saying that alan greenspan started subprime what is this subprime and what is happening it means you are lending to people who actually in the first place do not qualify for that loans you don't qualify for it sir deepak does not qualify for the loan but the bank is aggressively lending it to him that's a subprime borrowing what is a subprime borrowing is you are typically and i have coined an acronym to get this simple to get this very logical and simple you are <coughs> lending to what is known as ninja customers it's not a japanese term ninja actually stands for no income no jobs or assets right no income no job right or assets ninja that gentleman should never have got the loan in the first place but the banks were giving it to him why let's go back and let's retrace mr greenspan was known for certain things what was he known for anybody has been tracking and it's a pleasure right absolutely mr greenspan has been he is a darling of the investors you know why every time there is a market crash he responds to the market crash by cutting the interest rates you see us is very 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 touchy every week they actually go and ask people what do you think uh, right is your opinion about the us economy surveys are carried out it is known as a confidence index absolute and the figures are coming out this week 80% people believe that it's recession signals are very very prompt actually certified data whenever the markets collapse without getting into great detail the dot com bubble what was the dot com bubble everybody got into dot com dot com and one fine day the bubble burst people lost jobs confidence index was very low and now greenspan comes into the play greenspan realizes oh my god 2001 greenspan realizes everything is collapsing i have to do something and then he does something which he has been traditionally doing over a period of time thank you again sir he has a term that we say the put effect greenspan put or the put effect when you come to this term what do you mean by put effect put effect means remember this uh, practicing managers put effect means to cut interest rates to cut interest rates and to put more money into the system put effect okay the put effect to cut interest rates and to put more money into the system the put effect this was famous the famous effect that he was known as the darling of all markets the greenspan put what greenspan did is oh my god mr santosh is a worried man today alamgir is a worried man today Pooja is a worried person today. I need to restore the confidence. I'll cut interest rates, and that's exactly what he did. 
the interest rates in US kept on going down, kept on going down and that's exactly where the subprime crisis started. One, banks started getting more and more aggressive. Nay, no, I want big portfolios. Now, first thing is, banks were exceedingly aggressive. They started putting, hey Nick, why don't you take a loan from us? It's hardly going to cost you 1.25%. What is it for you? Go, go, buy a house. Right, take the money from us, banks. Nick is now looking at it, said 1.25%. I can afford. Not a problem here. I can afford. Yeah, I don't have a permanent job. But either udar karke, right, I will manage. And moreover, in US, there is one fundamental right these guys enjoy, which, right, uh, which we, at least, we as Indians, backdoor, we, uh, we do not enjoy. The right to remain unemployed. Okay. Kuch nahi. Bil jayega mereko. Koi problem nahi hai. Usse I will manage this. One. Bank's aggression. Two. Typical US citizen's attitude. Take loans. Not a problem. They love taking loans. Right? They love taking loans. Third. The third phenomenon. Hybrid loans. Very, very crucial. What's a hybrid loan? Look at this term. A hybrid loan. Simple. And my earnest request, right, in that limited interaction with you all, if I can just pack off that love for finance, my job's done. What is a hybrid loan? Look at this term. Hybrid means mixture. It was known as the 2 by 28 loan, 3 by 27 loan. What is this 2 by 28 and 3 by 27? Any ideas? I'm just throwing it back for a minute. Any ideas? What could this mean? Housing loans are for 30 years. Housing loans are for 30 years. Hey, nay, I threw that question for a minute extra because I wanted to see if some of you could think on those lines. Not a problem. I'm there. 2 plus 28 is 30. A typical housing loan is 30 years. Alamgir sir, first two years you pay me only interest. Typically when we take a loan, you have to repay back interest plus principal. Dono chahiye. Aray, bank ko apna paisa bhi chahiye na wapas. Right? To, but in this case, hybrid, hybrid. Aray, why are you worrying? You take that loan at 1.25 neck. Don't worry. First two years, you only pay interest. What is the problem? And the balance 28 years, then you, we will reset your loan. But at least for two years, we'll see you know, what will happen. And why are you worried? What will happen after two years? Because then after two years, you may also get what is known as, now I'll, I'll explain this to you, a top-up loan, a home equity loan. <laughs> I don't understand this. I have a very small loan. These US guys are brilliant. Okay? But then you need to understand. There are people like Alan Greenspan, there are people like Bernack, who is also helping them out in times of crisis. Before I get there, a 3 by 27, I'm, I'm sure all of you have got it, but just in case, first three years you pay interest. The balance 27, you will pay interest plus principal. Wow, everybody is happy. Bankers are reporting very high profits. Why? Customers are gaya. Bonuses are good, right? For the sales guys, they are doing a wonderful job. Nobody is doing something which is very important. People are borrowing. Everybody is happy. Everybody, including the Federal Reserve, the governor also feels good. The president of US feels good. Why? Because housing in US contributes to more than 30% of their economy. Just like India has services. Hai. Aap ka, right, I believe, right, UAE typically is right, oil driven. US is all mortgages. For the mortgage, that word mortgage is important. It is real estate. 30% of their GDP, 33 to be exact, 33 to be exact, comes from housing related activities. Housing sector doing well, they will feel very, very good. Housing sector is a problem, they get worried. Just like India. Services, IT mein kuch to hua to dar lagta hai. Okay. Agriculture kuch hua to dar lagta hai. US is predominantly housing. So everybody is happy. Why? Economy doing well, housing sector booms, broker doing well, right? real estate construction company doing well, steel company doing well, cement company doing well, that goes into manufacturing of houses, happy, 